Well, the apostasy and confusion continues in Israel as I take on the next set of 10 multiple choice questions from Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge. We are approaching the end of the book of Judges, and the children of Israel have really lost their way. They are adopting the habits of the people around them, and they are allowing their sons and daughters to marry some of these people. Also, they're worshiping idols, and they're doing that in the name of Jehovah. They still do have faith in Jehovah, even though they are in this confused state. Well, I'm sure this next set of 10 questions will focus on the last judge in the book of Judges, Samson. As you know, each of the questions in this quiz comes with a reference from the Bible, and if you want, you can read about the story behind the question. Each one also has four answer choices, with one of them being the best answer, and hopefully, I'll choose that answer. All right, the next question is question number 271. Samson's wife betrayed him to her countrymen out of A, fear, B, love, C, hate, or D, greed. And I believe the answer here is D, greed. I think that they offered her some money or something valuable in exchange for betraying him. So 271 Answer for me is D. 272. Samson wagered some Philistines that they could not answer his riddle, and Philistines A. won the wager, B. lost the wager, C. won the wager and supplied the prize, or D. never decided the wager. And I'm going to eliminate D. never decided the wager because there was an outcome. And I remember that they won the wager because they guessed the riddle. This one was about the lion, I think, and the honeycomb that was inside the lion. And Samson had to supply the prize, but I think that he went and took the prize from some Philistines. So for this question, I'm going to answer letter C, won the wager and supplied the prize. And we'll see what the answer is. All right, 273. Samson destroyed the Philistines' shocks, standing corn, vineyards, and olives by using foxes that were A, ravenous, B, diseased, C, tied, or D, vicious. And the answer here is C, tied. I remember this story. He tied their tails together and fire was involved. So 273, the answer is C. 274. When the Philistines burned Samson's wife and father-in-law, he A. slaughtered them with the jawbone of an ass, B. thanked them for destroying a disloyal wife, C. pulled down upon them the walls of their city, or D. smote them hip and thigh. And I believe that the answer here is slaughtered them with the jawbone of an ass, It could be D, though, smote them hip and thigh, but I'm going to stick with A, slaughtered them with the jawbone of an ass for 274. Answer A. Number 275, the cords and bands that were loosed from off Samson's arms and hands had been fastened on him, A, with his consent, B, against his will, C, while he was asleep, or D, while he was drugged with wine. And I'm going to eliminate D, and I believe the correct answer is C, while he was asleep. All right, question number 276. Samson was A, a judge of the Israelites, B, judged by an Israelite judge, C, a foe of judges, or D, a judge manik. And I'm going to go with A, a judge of the Israelites, for my answer for 276. 277. After sleeping with a harlot at Gaza, Samson A, pulled down the pillars of the temple, B, took away the doors of the city gate and the two posts, C, tossed the Gazites about as straw in the wind, or D left peacefully? And the answer here is B, took away the doors of the city gate and the two posts. I believe that's the answer here for 277. 
B. 278. Samson told Delilah the true secret of his strength after he had seen her try to betray him A. once, B. twice, C. three times, or D. not at all. And we can eliminate D. not at all. And I believe the answer here is C. three times. I think two times he told her something that wasn't quite true. And the third time he went and told her the truth. Answer for me, C for 278. 279, Samson lost his strength when the seven locks of his head were shaved off because A, his hair contained a chemical substance that increased oxygen use by his muscles. B, a psychological connection existed in his mind between hairiness and strength. C, since birth he had been a Nazarite to God. Or D, blood poisoning from the unclean razor weakened him. I'm going to go right for C. That's the answer. Since birth, he had been a Nazarite to God. 279, answer C. Okay, and the final one is number 280. If the story of Micah and the Danites seems rather pointless, it is probably because A, nothing dreadful befell either Micah or the Danites. B, it only demonstrates that the Lord took care of unsuspecting people. C, the young Levite put loyalty ahead of numbers, or D, the names given to Micah's mother, the young Levite, and the five Danites lack distinction. I'm going to eliminate A, nothing dreadful befell either Micah or the Danites. I'm going to eliminate that, and I'm going to eliminate C, the young Levite put loyalty ahead of numbers. I'm not, I don't think that, I don't remember that happening. And D, the names given to Micah's mother, the young Levite, lack distinction. I'm going to eliminate that. I'm going to go with B. It only demonstrates that the Lord took care of the unsuspecting people. That seems to fit. 280, answer for me is B. Okay, that ends another set of 10 questions. And now I'll turn back to the answers and see which ones I was able to answer correctly. The answers are back here in the back of the book. There's about five pages of them. I'll look for question number 271. And the correct answer is A, and I answered D. And this question, it was the one about Samson's wife. It be betrayed him. And let's see. It says, Samson's wife betrayed him to her countrymen out of A, fear. That was the correct answer. I said D, greed. And I was pretty confident about that but that was the incorrect answer. 272. Correct answer is C, and that was the question about Samson wagering some of the Philistines that he couldn't answer their riddle, and I answered that one correctly, C, that they won the wager, and then Samson was able to get the prize from them. So answer C was correct. 273, the correct answer is C for that one also. That was the question about the foxes destroying the Philistines' property. Pretty straightforward. 274, the answer to that question was D, and I answered A. And that was the question about the Philistines burned Samson's wife and father-in-law, and I said that he slaughtered them with the jawbone of an ass, Actually, the correct answer is that he smote them hip and thigh. So I got that one completely wrong. 275, the correct answer is A, and I answered C. So this is my third incorrect answer, not looking good. This question was the one about the cords and the bands on Samson's arms, and I thought that they tied them on while he slept, but the correct answer is A, with his consent. 276, correct answer is A, and that's what I answered. It was, Samson was a judge. 277, correct answer is B, and that's what I answered. And that was the one about, after sleeping with the harlot at Gaza, Samson, correct answer B, took away the doors and the posts. 278, the correct answer is C, and that's what I answered, C. That question was the one uh, about Samson telling Delilah the truth, and it was on the third try. 279, correct answer, C, and that's what I put down here was C. Samson lost his strength, 
and that had to do with him being a Nazarite. So 280, the question was the one about Micah and the Danites being pointless, and I said B, demonstrates the Lord took care of his people, but the correct answer is A, nothing dreadful befell either Micah or the Danites, and I got that one completely wrong. Let's see, that's four wrong this time, which is a 60%, which is not good. But at least there is next time, another set of 10 coming my way. And that set of 10 will be partly from the book of Judges. It'll wrap up the book of Judges and then on to the book of Ruth, another great story. Hopefully I'll be able to get a better score on that one.